All right, everybody. We're going to be doing some initial impressions on a Vision King scope I got in the mail straight out of China. Out of Sichuan, Gangdang. And uh, not to be funny, but I literally think that's how they say it. So it comes in bubble wrap on the outside, making it look like a freaking kilo of cocaine or something crazy like that. And uh, I'm not mad at that. I mean, it makes it look pretty obvious as to what it is, so I guess all the postal workers know what the deal is, but they didn't steal it from me, they let me get it in my mailbox, so use the right tool for the job here, we'll use an old box cutter. Let's see what we can do, this is like some pretty serious bubble wrap action, I'm trying to strategically cut this. So it looks like some bubble wrap and that like foam padding. It's important because I know this is how you guys are going to get it in the mail as well. If you buy direct from Vision King, which is what I did, I, I bought directly from them on eBay. There's a seller called like Vision King 168, and uh, he actually runs some 99 cent auctions, and they go to the highest bidder, and that's what this is. This is a 1 to 8, Lord willing, inside of the box it will be what I got. First focal plane, and I want to say it had a mill dot reticle and I think it's an MOA adjustments pretty sure but it's first focal plane it's 35 millimeter tube at least it better be that's what I'm expecting it to be so okay it's not a scope it's vision king all right so here's the box nice looking box I suppose for what it is nice tough looking cardboard oh it's one of those type boxes too it's like a little foldy up box so that should be nice and rigid it's a good thing because they ship it like crazy people like they're packing cocaine oh look at there all right so here's this was included i knew this was going to be here they said it would be here sliced my freaking hand on the mic yesterday so that's why we're wearing this band right here. okay bubble wrapped up lots of the foam uh, styrofoam pad so that's good Alrighty. Come on, 35 millimeters. Don't be 30 millimeters. Come on, 35 millimeters. No whammies. Oh yeah, that's a fat bastard. Hell yeah. So I'm trying to step my scope game up. As you can see, if you follow my channel, you'll see that I just got rid of all my one-inch tubes. And oh, I got this thing is so massive. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Okay, it looks like it's got flip caps included with it. It's a good feeling scope so far. I'm a little fingers there. If I was another version of me, I might say something like Dick Beaters, but you know, we're over that. We're getting a little older, more mature. Okay, it's got a little bit of a, a wear on it there. So it's supposed to be a new scope. Um, it's looking pretty new. Got a little bit of like finish wear or something like that right here, but I don't really care. But just something to note. Uh, I think you might be able to see that. I'm not sure. So here you go. This is it. Big old one to eight first focal plane. Let's see what the uh, turrets look like underneath the caps because I didn't see. Ooh, look at that. Nice little clicky hold our onto's. Yeah, not the little stupid little flats that you got to turn. I don't think those are high quality. I think this is. A little bit more high quality so it looks like each click is a half minute well I guess we're not gonna be zeroing it to the nth degree I suppose not with half inch clicks okay. it goes back on there pretty good I did a little tricky trick reverse so it says that it doesn't come with a battery in it so I think I'm gonna have to score me a battery should be a 2032 that it takes for the illumination. Yeah, it looks like that's pretty obvious. Comes with a nice looking O-ring on it. I'm guessing that's to push it down. And I don't see any O-rings inside of here, so I'm gonna guess, oh yeah, okay, it's got one inside the cap. It's a real thin one, but it should work, so it should be pretty good and water resistant there, so that's a good thing. I am definitely glad to see that. The threads are nice. The knurling is nice for the cap, so those are all good signs. I like that. Um, let's go to this windage turret, and we'll try to maybe get a little bit more into the 
Yeah, those are nice. There's nothing wrong with that. They click into position really well. It's like very affirmative. Yeah, it feels good to the fingers. Like you can tell when it stops when it goes in there. So that's cool. All right, well that's a good sign. That's cool. Uh, looks like it's got like a a break inside the actual dial to be like kind of a visual aid. So that's cool. So I guess that'll be like what you use for reference and you could make some marks on it or something like that. So that's cool. This uh this is slides nice and uh, nice and smooth sliding, so that's cool. Uh, this is just an initial impressions, guys. This isn't, I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to take this thing out and shoot it and all that good stuff. The caps feel cool. Um, they're like a harder plastic than I'm used to. Like, most of the Butler Creek stuff is very rubbery, and these seem very solid plastic. Um, they kind of have a cool attachment down here at the bottom. It looks like it's a, a detent in there. So clicks on there that's cool this one back here in the back it looks like it's got like a little uh, this has knurling on it so I guess you do depress it so you depress that and it pops it open you can see that here we go let's do it for you guys let me get my finger out of the way Ta -da. I, I mean, this is this is flip cap, I know, but yeah, let's uh, take a look through it and we'll see what we initially think with our terrible eyes. Wow, first glance, uh, let's see, I'm on one power. Looks really good. Looks real. I can't believe it's this clear inside of a room that I'm looking at the freaking plaster like two feet away and it's as clear as it is. That's that's a first for me. I'm used to dealing with a red field, and if I tried to look at any drywall in the house. That was too close for it, so it'd be all blurry. But man, this thing is adjusted for my eyeballs like right out of the gate. That's cool. I'm zooming in. It's starting to get a little fuzzy, but the reticle's popping up. Yeah. So the reticle is actually a really cool milled out. It's got a cross, like a X in the middle, and then it's got a line break, and then you see your first mill dot. And then it starts being mill dots uh, one, two, three, four across and up and down. So four mill dots in all directions, and when you get to eight power, the mill dots pretty much extend all the way to the edges of the scope. You have like about, it looks like visually, it looks like five millimeters worth of the uh, black crosshair bar, like the posts, and then it becomes the mill dot reticle. And then when you're zoomed all the way out to one, Obviously, the reticle gets really small, and those posts are a lot longer. You know, they're, you know, 85, 90% of the, the objective uh, is those thicker black bars. And then, again, you know, you run it all the way out, and it becomes all mill dot. So, hey, it, uh, I'm pumped. I am freaking pumped on how nice this thing is looking. Um, I was just playing with uh, how it was looking. And I was moving my head all around, and I didn't really lose uh, total obscurity. So consider me uh, pleasantly surprised on first initial impressions. I mean, it's a solid feeling piece. You know, nothing janky there. Um, let's see here. I can't really adjust this. I don't. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it was all the way maxed down. Nothing wrong with that. If that's how it works for my eyeballs, that's cool. It, was, it works for me. So it looks like it's got a lot of adjustment to pull it out, which I don't think I'll be needing. But, you know, I'll play with that at the range, blah, blah, blah. So we'll worry about getting a, a battery in here, make sure that this thing actually illuminates like it's supposed to and all that good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, go out on a limb and say that it's good to go. doesn't see, seem to have any markings, uh, you know, not like a whole bunch of text written all over it. Really, it just says Vision King, blah, 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 right there, and then that's about it. So, it doesn't say China all over it. It doesn't say anything else all over it. I mean, it's, man, 35 millimeter tubes, and I'm getting pumped on this. This is like next generation shit for me, coming off of a one inch tube. And now I got this, and if you take a look at my other secret treasure, 
I'm waiting on a different uh, scope uh, mount to come out of China so I can figure out which one I actually want to use. But I got this Athlon scope, 4 to 14, that I'm kind of babying, kind of just sit in my damn closet. I already did a video on this, but this thing is pretty sweet too. So this thing's made in China, but for an American company, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff, but the clicks on it are a little bit weaker than on this one, so. I mean, these ones go into position, so I'm not mad about it. And it's adjusted in 10th mils, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm playing with all these scopes. Scope madness over here at my house. 30 millimeter tube, 35 millimeter tube. Looks totally awesome. I mean, playing with them side by side, it feels like this is 30 millimeter and this is one inch. So it's like, again, like a, a giant step up to the 35 millimeter. I couldn't be more pumped on the 35 millimeter situation. Um, I have these Tasco rings. I got them on sale at Midway. Uh, I think the sale's over now. It was kind of one of those Black Friday deals. But scored these for $18 shipped. So it was like 13 bucks, and then like $8 shipping or something like that. And... Uh, I was psyched on them at the time I got them, and then as soon as I did, I started really checking out this dude's uh, eBay store and his auction and all that good stuff, and he had uh, way better looking rings for 35 millimeter, way better looking than these ones are uh, for 17 bucks shipped, so I was like, damn. Anyways, I'm holding off. I'm going to get those in the mail here shortly. Uh, you know, they're coming from China, so it takes like a month for that stuff to come through, but... Anyway, uh, the mount that I got right now in my face for this 4 to 14 that was supposed to go on my AR is this guy right here. Scored this on eBay, $20 shipped. Uh, it did take, uh, you know, exactly one month to get to me, but hey, worth the wait for 20 bucks. It's a nice, it's a nice unit for what it is. Um, it's got a little. I don't see a lot of people doing reviews on these, and I don't know exactly why. So, bubble level on there. Not that it's like the world's best or anything like that, but it's got one, so that's cool. Value town. And I'll do one inch or 30 millimeters. You take these little things out. Now, my last scope I put on one of these, you'll see I did a, a review on the Nikon 2 to 8, and I put that on one. I put this on that scope. And I, at the time, I wasn't too pumped on these nuts sticking off the side of my gun. And uh, I've been looking at these ones, and I was wondering if I could like cut them down. And I don't think that'll work too well. So I'm still thinking about what to do to kind of like make these be less hanging off the side all crazy. But I think it'll work out. I think it'll work out. I think it's at least as good, if not better, than QD lovers. You know, in my opinion. I don't really like QD stuff. I'm kind of over the whole like drinking the Kool-Aid with this rapid... You know, I can change, take my scope off in a second. Because, check it out. What's the realistic thing about your scope really goes down and you need to just really just take it off in, like, two seconds? Like, if it's that bad, you're going to be point shooting. Like, just do what you got to do to make some hits on some guy who's 10 yards away or whatever. Because otherwise, you can have time to take this off. It's, it's like, what kind of, like, crazy situations do you really think you're going to be in? I'm like, oh my god, I need this scope off right now! It doesn't work! I need it off right now! QDs! Ah. Like, I just don't see that playing out. You're going to, you know, you're going to do what you got to do. If you got rounds in the rifle, shoot rounds. I mean, guys, stop running towards you. You know, run the fuck out of there, or whatever. And then, when you have time, use tools. You got a multi-tool, I'm guessing if you're that gangster, you probably got a multi-tool, you can... Wrench these nuts off. Who gives a fuck about these nuts at that point, right? I mean, fuck this scope mount. My scope's broken. Who gives a fuck about a scope mount? I'm just saying. I'm trying to keep it real. Everyone's so concerned with the QD thing. I think the QDs are whack because they get hung up on all my stuff. I, I sling the rifle for two seconds, and I got mag pouches, bungees, and all this shit all wrapped up on my rifle now. Every time. Like, I can count on it. And it, I hate it. I mean, I'd rather have just a little peg that gets caught on it than a latchy doodad. And then I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. it's stupid, man. I'm fucking over it. That's just a guy who runs around with him talking, not the guy who at the square wrench. I'm more concerned with him snagging on. And I also just kind of over the whole QD thing. Like, I would rather wrench down and do this type thing. I just, that's how I want to roll. I like, I like Loctite and Loctite type things. So... Anywho, that's my rant on that whole situation. No, not that anyone gives a shit, but 
you know, hey, you can get a scope. Like, I got this one, and I got a fake, uh, it looks like a knockoff of the new one that everyone loves, the Aero Precision. I got it for 20 bucks, and it's on the way. So, I'm kind of wavering about which one to throw on the rifle. I just want the other one to show up, and I want to see them side by side. And we'll make another video, and we'll talk a bunch of shit again. But, literally, uh, my biggest qualm with this is how much it purchases on the rail. It doesn't take up a whole lot of Picatinny sections for it to be gripping onto the rifle. And I don't love that. Like, I know they did it for weight savings. I get that. And it's good enough. You know, it'll clamp down and it is what it is. But I would like it to take up, you know, maybe yay much space on each one. That sounds more reasonable to me. I like that idea. And the other one does that. And it also has three screws. I like three screws more than I like two screws. Uh, that's just me. Again, I'm just talking shit. I'm getting what I want. So if this one had a third skinny one of these, a third skinny mounting point, I would love this thing all day long, every day. It's light. It's real light. And it's, it's solid too. It's more rigid and it's bulkier built than the, um, Aero Precision Ultra Lightweight, which is what I like in this feature set. Like I like this reinforced rib right here. I think that's hot shit. Um, I like all the lightning cuts it's gotten inside of it. I mean, I think that's hot shit. And no one talks about the scope now because it's only $20 and they can't make a huge profit off of you buying it. So I think that's whack. I like this shit and I think it's good shit. And I think that you should be looking at these too. Especially if you got a bunch of scopes on a bunch of rifles. Because it seems like everybody's got five ARs nowadays. And, uh, you know, who wants to freaking be trying to, like, play the whole ReZero game every time you want to shoot a rifle? So, anywho, uh... That's where I'm coming from, so that's what I'm running with. I'm waiting on rings in the mail for this guy, because I want to compare them to these Tasco rings. I think that the Vision King uh, rings are going to be far superior to these, which is why I'm holding off on them. This mount has some competition coming in the mail to mount this bad boy, and I like this thing a lot, so that's cool. Um, I don't know, it's just time to get to the range here after playing with all this crap, man. I'm buying toys left and right, i got to get out there and shoot this stuff, but... In time, right? In time, in time. No big deal. I just got a lot of fun stuff going on. So, anyway, this is a long video. I stretched this one out just talking a bunch of garbage. Uh, but I appreciate you guys if you're watching. And if you're not, then, you know, hey, try to spread it around. Talking about some 35mm Vision King scopes. What's up?